Howdy, backers. I hope you've had a good week. I've had a pretty good week just learning German and working on hypnospace a lot. Um, this update will be coming to you a day later than I said, so maybe I'll just move all updates to Saturdays instead of Fridays. I think that'll be better. Also, we're moving the stream to Wednesday, so this next Wednesday... Uh, I will be streaming again, and if you want to collaborate and help me make a, a page, it's really fun. I get a bunch of people in Skype, and they all kind of talk into my ear and tell me uh, what to make. So uh, feel free to join me then. Look on Twitter, or I'll post links uh, in this update on how you can watch that. Um, I wanted to cover a few things. I even wrote, I even took notes. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the page builder. So. Right now, the game is at a point where it's basically a series of two prototypes that are stitched together. Um, I'm still iterating on features and the core gameplay loop and trying to figure out what feels good and what, what needs to be central to the game. So um, until I get that nailed down, I don't want to get go too hog wild on uh, very pretty looking uh, development yet. Like, I don't want to add a bunch of details that I'm going to end up scrapping because they don't work with the game. So the page builder that uh, that you see advertised uh, is not what I want it to look like in the final product because I will be including a page builder and a music sequencer for kind of like my fake sequencer format, hypnospace format for the page loops on the web pages. Uh, I want to include those with the final game. And I want to make, they will be sort of mod tools uh, somewhere in the middle of part of the game and mod tools. They won't be part of the game proper. Uh, so what I've done is I made a mock-up, started making a mock-up of what the final page builder will look like. And I hope to release that early to backers in February or March of next year. So if you want to get started making pages, you can. And uh, I need to finish it then anyway, so I can add content myself uh, to the game, duh. So um, one of the cool things about uh, the new page builder, not the prototype, but the new one that we will be making is it'll have a, an event system, an event manager, which will allow you to basically modify how page elements look based on events. So for example, I can make an event for once you get 500, over 500 coins. I can add an event for once you've apprehended a certain amount of outlaws. Or we can go smaller and, like, let's say you have bumped a guy in traffic. We can add an event, uh, basically a flag that turns on if you've bumped this user in traffic. And then we can change a bit of the text on their page to maybe say... This jerk enforcer keeps bumping me in traffic, you know, something like that. Just fun reactivity stuff. Um, and this will all be released to all backers uh, in March or February or March. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the highway. I haven't really discussed the highway very much because that's where a lot of the mathy programming comes in that I can't do. Uh, that's why I'm running the Kickstarter. But uh, one of the things I have in mind, and I mocked up uh, a screen for it, is when you're on the highway and when you disconnect a user or blow them up, basically, uh, each user will have a few files uh, in their computer or in their vehicle. And when you blow them up, there's a, there's a small chance that some of the files will pop out of their vehicle and then you can grab the files. Uh, and uh, they won't be things that will help you in the game too much because I don't want to encourage blowing up users. If you do it too much, you'll get a penalty. But I want to give some more flavor and maybe backstory and a little bit of a way to see inside their personal files. So, um, for example, if you uh, blow, <laughs> blow someone up and... Uh, you could see a few text files fall out onto the highway and they'll be floating around there. Um, and you can, and you can sweep them up. And then when you go back to the, your operating system, you can look at the text files or image files, or maybe there'll be little, little songs that they have on their uh, hard drive. 
or computer, whatever, whatever is in it, in the hypnospace headband that stores data. Um, and you can look through them. Maybe they wrote some song lyrics, which is what I used in my example. Maybe they wrote a poem. Maybe it's just a note to remind themselves to do something. But it, it'll just be a way to add, uh, to give each of the characters more flavor. And then you could maybe go look at their web page and what they wrote in their personal text file or whatever may tie into something on their page and give you more of, it'll flesh them out more. It'll give you give them more of a sort of a real personality that you could identify with uh, in, in a greater way. Um, because what they put on their page is what they want you to see. The things they have stored in their personal you know, files are things that might be more personal. So obviously, so I think uh, that could be fun to mess with. Um, and the last thing I wanted to mention is the uh, UI sound effects and the sound effects on the highway and the soundtrack all follow this motif uh, of four notes and it's G, B, C, B. Dun, 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 dun. And um, e like all of the buttons in the UI, uh, your engine, when you rev up, it, go, it, it, uh, it plays uh, a higher note in this motif. And when you slow down, it plays the lower note in the motif. And uh, the same when you're flying, only an octave higher. And the coins, everything follows this motif. And I'm planning on having the background music flavor uh, flavor that because those four notes are very versatile you could do a harmonic minor scale with those four notes and it could be kind of like mysterious sounding or you could just do a happy major scale uh, it, uh, so, so I want to make the UI and the sound effects all be one of those tones and then have the, the underbelly, like the music, help color it. Um, so you can really do a lot with just those four notes, depending on what you layer under it. So that was a small detail I thought you guys might appreciate. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. <sighs> like, um, I'm really having a hard time uh, getting press coverage which i guess is to be expected for kickstarter um they're a little skittish about kickstarters i mean i would hope that the fact that we delivered dropsy um and it was a good game would help us but uh, it hasn't too much helped us get too many responses i think there's one article being written right now but um if you guys know any press people or you are press people i would love some coverage uh and of course tweet about it facebook about it you know whatever you can do i would really appreciate it uh, i'm having a lot of fun making the game and uh yeah but yeah on wednesday i'll be streaming and come join me ciao guys